everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do a very simple and natural everyday makeup look. This is something that is very easy to achieve, it only takes about 10 to 15 minutes to do and is perfect for when you want to look put together but don't have too much time to get ready in the morning. So if you'd like to see how to create this makeup look, please keep watching. I've already applied a primer to my skin. This is the Makeup Forever Nourishing Primer from their new Skin Equalizer range. For foundation, I'm using my favourite NARS Sheer Glow in the shade Barcelona and applying that all over my face and blending down onto my neck with a damp beauty blender. This foundation is so natural looking on the skin. It's very lightweight so you don't feel like you're wearing a heavy foundation but it still gives a good medium coverage. The beauty blender used damp helps to make the foundation look more natural by absorbing any extra product and really melting the foundation into the skin. So it looks more like skin and not cakey or patchy. I love that this foundation gives such a natural dewy glow to the skin. It makes your skin look very healthy and youthful. I'm using Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer to conceal under my eyes, around the sides of my nose, down the bridge of the nose, the centre of the forehead, the chin and around the corners of the mouth where I'm prone to have redness or need to cover any blemishes. I'm taking my damp beauty blender again to blend out that concealer. Like my foundation, the beauty blender really melts the concealer into the skin and absorbs any extra product to give a natural finish to the skin. This concealer feels very lightweight but is extremely pigmented so will cover dark circles and redness extremely well without looking heavy and it doesn't crease under the eyes. Taking MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in the shade Light, I'm going to set all the areas I applied concealer using a Zoeva Luxe Highlight Brush. I will leave a list of all the brushes I'm using throughout this tutorial in the description box below. I love using this mineral powder for a natural powder setting to the skin that doesn't look too heavy or matte. To bronze up my skin, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette. I'm taking the Sculpt Powder to lightly contour my face along the hollows of the cheekbones and on the forehead. The Sculpt Powder is a light brown tone that isn't too warm or dark in colour, so it gives a very natural contoured look. I love using this palette for an everyday look as the Sculpt and Highlight Powders are both very finely milled to give a more subtle finish. For blush, I'm taking this baked blush from Milani called Luminoso and applying that to the apples of my cheeks and blending back up into the contour. This is a beautiful natural soft pink blush with reflective gold pigments that give the most natural looking healthy glow and sheen to the cheeks. Using that highlight shade from the Charlotte Tilbury palette on a fan brush, I'm sweeping that across the tops of the cheekbones and bringing it down onto the apples of the cheeks to give a beautiful soft gold glow to the skin. I'm also applying that down the bridge of the nose, on the tip of the nose and Cupid's bow to give a radiant, fresh and glowing look to the skin. Moving on to the brows, I'm using the MAC Velux Brow Liner Pencil in Brunette to fill in my brows. This comes with a spoolie brush on one end that I first use to comb through my brows. This brow pencil is very soft and blends really easily through the brows to create a more softer, natural look. I prefer to use a pencil to fill in my brows for this everyday natural makeup look as it doesn't darken them too much or give a strong drawn on look to my brows. To set my brows in place, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set in the colour Quite Brunette. For eyeshadow, I'm using this MAC eyeshadow called Bamboo, which is a slightly darker colour than my skin tone. I use this shade to create a natural halo of colour around my eye and to help blend the other eyeshadows I'm using on the lid and in the crease. Taking this soft pink champagne colour called All That Glitters by MAC, I'm applying that all over my lid to give a beautiful soft sheen on the eye. This colour really brightens up the eyes and adds a natural glow without being too sparkly. This colour is perfect for an everyday natural eyeshadow look and complements all skin tones. To add a bit more definition and colour to the eyes, I'm taking this warm brown shade called Soft Brown by MAC and blending that along the crease.
I'm taking that colour along the lower lash line as well to even out with the colours on top of the lid and give some more definition. Now I'm blending all those eyeshadows out with a soft fluffy brush to soften any harsh lines. Using that Charlotte Tilbury highlight shade once again, I'm applying that to the inner corners of my eyes to brighten and along the brow bone to lift my brows. I'm adding a skin toned eyeliner by MAC to my waterline. This always gives the appearance of bigger eyes and helps to make tired eyes look more bright and awake. Taking the Roller Lash Mascara by Benefit, I'm coating my top lashes. I don't use any liner or false lashes for my everyday natural makeup look, but definitely feel free to do that. It will take an extra 10 minutes or so, so I prefer just to add lots of coats of mascara to give the appearance of full voluminous lashes. To coat my bottom lashes, I'm using my favourite MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. Now for lips, I'm lining my lips with this Subculture Lip Liner by MAC. This colour is very similar to my natural lip colour, so I like to use this to slightly overdraw and fill in my whole lips to give them a more fuller appearance. For lipstick, I'm using Honey Love by MAC. This is my favourite nude lip colour. It's a beautiful soft pinky brown matte shade. Whether you are eating or drinking, this matte lipstick stays on and doesn't move. That's why I love matte lip colours the most. I'm adding this Gerard Cosmetics lip gloss in the colour Shimmer of Hope to give a slightly more pink tone with a beautiful sheen to the lips. To finish this look, I'm spraying MAC Fix Plus to accentuate the highlights on the skin and set the makeup in place. This is the final result for my natural everyday makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you soon in my next video.